Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Live Sweet. Today, I'm going to be challenging myself to decorate a box of cookies, 12 cookies, in one hour with a limited color palette and a container of sprinkles. So anyway, one hour, 12 cookies, here we go. Okay, so like I said, this is my own box that I've made up. And in here we have three star cookies. We have three fireworks cookies, we have three flags, and we also have three heart cookies. So we have our red, white, and blue sprinkles. These are just Jimmy style sprinkles. We have blue royal icing, we have white royal icing, and we have red royal icing. Now, this video, I only gave myself an hour to do it. This was a spur of the moment thing. So I've sped up the following parts until the end when I show you the finished cookies. And this is also me figuring out all of the decorating techniques and everything I'm gonna do with these cookies uh, in the moment. So here are all of our cookies, just giving you a quick close up of the star, the heart. We're gonna check out the firework and the flag. One thing I, I, I gave myself to use was a, uh, a scribe tool that I have. That was the yellow tool with a pointy, that really pointy needle end. Um, I figured you might have a toothpick at home, so you could use that too. But really, that's the only special thing that I allowed myself during this. You'll see me switch back and forth between cookies and styles and icings and everything throughout this entire video as different ideas just keep coming to me and <laughs> I'm trying to come up with cute designs just off the top of my head. I will say, I especially like this cookie right here. You'll see me pulling the scribe through, uh, scribe tool through it and creating like a tie-dye effect. I really, really like that. And I probably, if I wasn't trying to show different designs and everything, I probably would have done the other two stars the same way. But I wanted to give a few different simple options that everybody could do. And 
this is just a simple design you completely flood the cookie and then just go around the outside with some sprinkles I mean it's really simple but it looks really cute This cookie didn't go quite as planned. So I originally, I wanted to do some wet on wet technique and you'll see me do that in just a second where I put down little polka dots and then I pull the scribe through, to, uh, tool through, creating a little heart. And they were okay, but I just wasn't thrilled by them. And here I am with a white frosting doing that as well. Those turned out better than the red. The red kind of blobbed on me. I don't know what the reason for that was, but you know, it's probably just one of those things. So here I am trying to go around the edge again with those sprinkles. So you'll see just a couple of different techniques in there and then me trying to, uh, you know, get rid of something I didn't quite care for. I thought this was just a cute basic design for a firework, you know, just a blue star and the red and what will be white stripes on the end. For this one I was trying to recreate that tie-dyed look with the red and the blue and you'll see me pull it out to the edge didn't get so much tie-dye look as it actually made it look more like a star so I was really okay with that Okay, so for this cookie, I had an idea, and I really wanted to do a fault line cookie, but it, the idea came to me right after I finished completing the outside border, so that's why I'm picking it up, going back in, and actually removing the bits of icing that you can see right there, so I can fill in the other portion and leave that blank.
this, I was going to try and do another tie-dye design, but I realized I was running out of time. Like I said, I only was go uh, I only gave myself an hour to do this, and so I decided to keep it plain, do the three different colored hearts on the one cookie. This design I really liked as well. I mean, I've seen this cookie a lot. You'll see it a lot when you look up flag cookies online. But really, I think it's just so nice and clean and and neat that it works out for a lot of people. Beginners can do it pretty easily as long as you know to let your colors crust over for about 15 minutes before you put your next color in. for this cookie I probably have like five minutes left and I was <laughs> trying to come up with something that would be cute that would be simple and I decided I was going to completely cover it in sprinkles completely cover the firework in sprinkles and I decided that blue would look better as a background color than white coming back to this one with a fault line cookie you just spread the white icing out a little. Normally I'd use a paintbrush, but I did not give myself one. So you just spread it out with your scarf tool or with your toothpick and then carefully push those sprinkles into place and it'll look like your cookie has a little fault line in it full of sprinkles. those of you that want to make this at home, we, I use probably about a 15 to 20 second icing for these cookies. Now we're kind of at the end so we're just basically filling in all the rest of the cookies this does not take long to do which is really important because I was running out of time and I think that cookie just looked very very nice now we're gonna fill this one in with the red stripes and then we'll put in some white dots for the stars Here are all the final cookies. As you can see, all together, they actually look pretty good. I mean, they're very fast, they're very easy, but I think they turned out better <laughs> than I thought they would for just a one hour project. So I hope you enjoyed that video. I think they turned out a lot better than I thought they would. I hope you do too. So if you enjoyed this video, hit the like button below and subscribe to my channel to see more of my videos and turn on the notifications so you'll know when I upload my next one. We're going to continue to try and upload more frequently, but bear with us because we're getting star started again. And if you want to look at some other stuff that we've been doing, check us out on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, anywhere. So we'll have those links at the end, but thank you for watching.
Bye.